It all started with an equation. Love plus marriage equals fiscal responsibility for the baby. Now I like girls. I always have, but life is long and time is so short. And the unknown beckons. So less terrifying than responsibility. So I stepped onto a road other men have gone down. My travels brought me to many cities and places. I broke bread and shared the pipe with many tribes. I lived in three-star hotels and on the streets at turns. I've met and talked and listened in churches and in jails, from state hospitals to the mean and hard overnight city streets. Everywhere I see that people want to be good and happy and that most folks just lack a little driver, a piece of knowledge that will make sense of them. After decades of learning to live in my mind, I have come so much past my expectations that at last I have found the courage to try to throw off my monastic security and dance the turnaround myself. A few years ago, I was visited one night by three ghostly spirits. John Lennon, my dad, and this mangy old one-legged grackle I used to see around. I was always saying, oh, I'm looking for my Yoko Ono, that perfect woman that I could be with and would understand me, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, John gave me his blessing to go for Yoko if I want, but he pointed out the girl at the coffee shop seemed more appropriate. I asked Dad what to do, and he just nodded and smiled, but offered no advice. The grackle looked pissed and hopped off looking for french fries. The hardest point remaining is the inequity of knowing every woman I meet is far too good for me, and I reckon they know it too. I only hope that if I concentrate, we can put one over. Listen to your woman, but not closely.